Hey gang, welcome back to the channel again. Uh, we're going to be looking at another battle box. It is mission 44, and I think you're going to like this. Hang tight. <laughs> All right, thanks for hanging. Here it is. This is Battle Box Mission Number Forty Four. Let's just get right into this right away. Now, I got to tell you, everything that we have seen from Battle Box thus far has been pretty awesome, um, and we haven't gotten any junk from them. Haven't found a box that I went, eh, I don't care for that too much. Uh, but almost everything we well yeah everything we've gotten from them has been top notch, and uh, I am not disappointed in what we've seen here, either. We've opened this up. I've looked at it. I'm like, this is right in my wheelhouse. But without any further ado, let me put on my peepers because I happen to need these things to be able to see. Uh, this is a sit rep card. Comes in every one of their boxes. I think this is a neat idea the way they do this. You know, their marketing is great there. Their, their concept is, is very, very cool. And um, how they present everything is, is top shelf. Uh, this particular card, uh, the way they do this, is no different. Uh, one side gives you the sit rep, and this says gatherings. And then this side here gives you the different tiers and what is in each of those tiers. And again, this is Mission 44, uh, October. 2018 and it's called Bushcraft. With that being said, let's get right into this. They've got four different tiers, the Basic, the Advanced, the Pro, and the Pro Plus. Basic starts out at $24.99, Advanced goes to $49.99, the Pro is $99.99, and the Pro Plus is $149.99. One tier uh, creates a foundation for the next tier. So in other words, whatever you get in the first tier, if you go to the second tier, you get all that first tier gear, so on and so forth. Okay, uh, this month in the basic, uh, and they say it has a forty dollar and ninety three cent value. You know, see, so almost double your your value there. Uh, it's got some great stuff in it here. Okay, first off is is a book, the complete guide to wild edible plants. That's put out by the Department of the Army. Uh, the publication date on this, just see how old this thing is, is 2009, which isn't old at all. Um, and, you know, for what it's worth, just my advice, anybody that is, I don't care if you're just a, a newbie, that, that you're just getting started, uh, or you have been a, a bushman for the last 50 years, you should have or keep adding to your library, you know, because... People that knows more than you and me have written it down in books, and we can go back and resource that. This happens to be a great one here. Uh, I've seen this book uh, on more than one occasion, and I've re referenced it on more than one occasion. Um, and man, I, I just I, I think that uh, Battle Box has done good putting this box together. This is going to be very useful. Uh, every plant that you can Im imagine is up in here. So. Uh, they're giving this a value of $11, and when we went out on Amazon to look for this, it uh, went from $12.95 to $13.95, so you save about a buck or two there. The next thing is Chaga Chunks, and when I when I saw this, I was like, wow, uh, this is cool. You know, a lot of people don't know anything about Chaga Chunks, and if you don't, do some Google research on this, uh, because this is a great fungus that if you live in an area with uh, certain birch trees you can find the chaga on there um, and it has medicinal properties in it and um, I've never I've never used it for uh, anything medicinal but I've been told that you can boil it into a tea and use it for uh, anything from arthritis to high blood pressure to cholesterol uh, and uh, analgesic just a, a bunch of things that I've, I've heard about this but how I've used it is as a uh, fire starter. You uh, process this down, hit it with a ferro rod, and it's gonna it's gonna take an ember uh, and uh, throw it your bird's nest, and you're you're going. They give this a value of seven dollars, um, 
And uh, my notes are saying here that we found this for seven dollars. Um, but if you live in a region of the of the United States that has uh, birch trees, not all birch trees grow this fungus. I have a river birch right out in my yard out here that I do take off the bark uh, to use in uh, fire starters. But it will not grow chaga on it, you know. But you can find this out in the woods too. Um, next thing is a little offering from Wazoo, um, and Wazoo is a company that does, does everything survival. They got the micro kits and stuff like that, uh, and then what Battle Box has done, they've taken and put a Wazoo survival bandana in this that identifies plants. I mean, and you really got to study this to be able to understand it. You know, uh, this is um, the violet, okay? There's a violet right there, and then it's got these little markings right here. One is a fork and spoon, one is a C uh, in red, and the other one is a, uh, like a medical patch cross. And what that's telling you is it can be eaten, uh, you can cook this thing, um, medicinal, let me see, yeah, you can eat it raw, you can cook it, or what's that C for? Vitamin C, that's for vitamin C. As I said, you got to read the ledger here. The ledger's in the middle, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is a ledger. And then right up here in each of these little plants, you have got this little logo that matches this, and it tells you this can be eaten raw, uh, it has vitamin C in it, and it has medicinal properties. And there are several plants that are around here. Uh, says this is a design by Wazoo Survival Gear LLC. Uh, okay. And then on this corner it says the five steps of identifying edible plants. This is very, very uh, important. That's a great thing to learn. Uses of this bandana are for, gives you all those. And it says rules and ethics of foraging. First one is honor the land. Amen, brother. Honor the land because God doesn't make no more dirt. Okay. That's a very cool offering there. Now they give this a value of eleven dollars, and uh, that is what our our folks found that for also. Here is another one, and I'm I'm, I'm really juiced about this guy here. This is a, a, a pack of, of playing cards, but it's just not playing cards. It is it's called Wild Cards Edible Wild Foods. And the reason I like this is because they, they give you a chain that comes with it. They have holes in them. And it's like a portable uh, reference deck that you can take with you. And you can look over all these plants. And on the back of them, when you read it, it tells you um, what to do. Here's one. On, I just picked this one. This is the Four of Diamonds. And it's on the rose. Uh, and it says, warning, avoid eating thorns. Come on. Uh, it's edible, the stems, the leaves, the flowers, and the hips. Characteristics, many varieties. It, it gives you all kinds of stuff. Uses, taste range from sweet to bitter. Roll and smell stems, peel before eating raw or steeping for tea. You can freeze them or you can use them when they're dry. This will fit in a backpack. If you are a bushcrafter, if you go out in the woods and you're one of those that doesn't like to take out a bunch of MREs with you. I hate that. Um, not that I wouldn't in a pinch, but I vowed after I got out of the Marine Corps I wasn't going to eat any more MREs. Uh, but that was way back in the 70s when you got the little cardboard box and had the mystery meat in them. Kind of scary. Today they've really upgraded it. But even so, uh, you eat one or two of those and you're probably not going to be uh, using the bathroom. You're not going to be doo doing. uh for a couple days. Uh, they'll just clog you up. But you get out in the bush and you start learning about edible plants, you can find out that you can actually survive off of different plants for a long, long time. All right? Uh, Battle Box, I think you hit a home run on there. I love those. Okay? Next thing in here is, uh, oh, this might make some of you queasy. It is a box of Crickets and a box of larvets. The original worm snacks is what this says, okay? Um, I started eating bugs uh, probably when I was uh, just a little kid crawling around out in the dirt. 
but eventually, uh, my dad showed me what bugs were better than others and how to eat them. Uh, like the, you pull the legs off of a cricket or a grasshopper uh, before you ever eat them because they get a little sticky in the teeth. But these, unlike the ones I've had, these ones uh, are salt <laughs> and vinegar. Uh, okay, well, let's see what this little cricket tastes like when it's got salt and vinegar in it. Tastes like salt and vinegar. Now, I've never had freeze-dried. I think these are freeze-dried. I've had them raw, and I have eaten crickets that have been cooked, grasshoppers that have been cooked on a, on a little skewer, you know. Those are good over the fire, and they will sustain you for a while. And the other one... Mexican Spice, uh, the Larvettes, and they give these a value of $1.99 per box, and that's exactly what we found those for, and let's see here, let's see here, if this tastes like any Mexican food, oh, I got a couple of them come out there, let's see if this tastes like any Mexican food I've ever eaten, alright, there's one, there's two, Hey, I'll be honest with you, they're edible, and I would eat them, but if the next Mexican restaurant I go to tastes like that, I'm not going to eat there anymore. Got a little flavor in it, but not very much is what I'm getting at. So that is it for the $24.99 basic level. And they give that a $40.93 uh, value. And it looks like we came out with $42.43. So you do save money by going with BattleBox. All right, the next tier is the Advanced at $49.99. And they give that a value of $105.83. And the first thing you see here is a Lord and Field farmhand knife. Okay? That is... Cool. Check this out. I love the paper they put this in. Wow. Very, very cool. Kind of a hook hook knife. Lord and Field. Beautiful micarta scales on this. Wow. This knife is put together very, very good. And I can tell you right now, this would be a, a great bushcrafting knife for uh, making utensils, or do whatever you're doing in, on a small scale. This would be a great knife because of the way it's shaped. It's very sturdy. It's locked in solid. You don't have to worry about this uh, failing you. Nice lanyard hole. This is great. This is a great knife. Okay, And it's a pocket knife. It's designed to go in a pocket, not a sheath. That's why there's no sheath with it. Uh, man, I'm digging that oil cloth right there. Uh, good to go. Lord and Field and Battle Box are hooking up with them. That's awesome. That is an awesome little knife right there. So there's a knife. And don't forget, we're heading towards a, a, a real premium knife at the uh, Pro Plus level. So you got at least one knife in here, and it's going to come to two. Uh, I love that. And they give this a value of $39.95. And my notes are saying here, my folks found it from $43 up to $52. Wow. We'll just stick with the 43, you know. That, that's pretty cool. All right, and then the next thing is a Lord and Field canvas trail bag. That is this guy right here. I have seen these before. Um, I have a friend that has one. He likes uh, buying from Lord and Field. This is a canvas trail bag. Now, it fits on your belt. Bingo. Like so, right there. See that? It's got the Lord and Field logo right there, and it fits on your belt. And then once it's on your belt, and you're walking the trail, or you're off the trail, you're going in to do some gathering. Check this out. This is a waxed canvas style bag. It's, it's a gathering bag. It's almost, um, you know, it's not quite as big as a ditty bag, but it's got a drawstring on it. You know, I mean, that's awesome. They give this a $24.95 value, and... It looks like we saw it for $28. So, 
you know, five dollar savings if you go through BattleBox. You know, I mean, so far this is a, a great bargain. That's some good stuff right there. I love that little bag. All right, now we're going to go to the pro level, which is ninety nine ninety nine. It gives a value of one sixty five seventy seven. Uh, and you get everything I just showed you. Plus, you're going to get this, a waxed <laughs> canvas. They call it a rugged twill log carrier. Now, this is something that you don't normally carry out into the bush with you unless you are definitely going to have a base camp, right? You know, if you can get something to carry your wood back in from the deep forest instead of you know, hankering it up in your in your uh, arms like this, or one arm, and you're trying to carry and trying to flashlight, all that stuff. You know, it becomes very very cumbersome. But you put your ha, watch this only at Backwoods Biker Studio. Watch. I'm still here. I'm not going to get it all, but. <laughs> We've got this down for photo shoots here, uh, but that's that's what you do right there. Check it out, and you can carry you can carry a lot of wood with this. And uh, I tell you what else I'm seeing that you could do with this. You ever been out on a wet forest floor and you had to kneel down and your knees get all wet and you didn't want them to? Bingo, lay this out. You can actually uh, use it for that. Get that out of the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That wasn't a good good throw. Um, you can use it uh, to put your gear in whenever you're unpacking. Just lay it down there. It doesn't have to touch the ground. Uh, these are cool. And I know uh, we have had fireplaces in our house. And I have purchased something like this. And I can tell you, these are not cheap. Let me see what they, they give the uh, price for here. A waxed canvas rugged twill carrier is at $49.95. That's that's a bargain because um, I've paid sixty bucks for these, uh, and they weren't as heavy as this either. Really heavy canvas, and it's treated, and the leather straps have have got uh, some webbing on the inside. It's just that's that's great, you know. So I'm, I'm telling you, that's that's a really good bargain there. Uh, and then oh 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 oh, there is another knife. This is a Mora knife, okay. Uh, what's it say here? Uh, made in Sweden, blah, 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 blah. Uh, tells you the batch number. And this is the basic 511, 511 beige and black Mora knife. Mora knives are, are some of the most reasonable, reasonably priced knives out there, especially for bushcrafting. This is a great little knife for bushcrafting. It's got a nice uh, 90 degree spine on this. Uh, and uh, it's a high carbon knife. Very, very nice. Very nice knife. Uh, comes with a plastic molded sheath. You know, that's what helps to keep them cheap uh, from Mora. But these are these are really, really nice knives. You know, got a lot of people that swear by those things, especially the price on them. Now, this gives they give this knife a nine ninety nine value. And it looks like they're saying here 511 was uh, eleven dollars. Uh, so you're saving a lot of money at this tier. It's like uh, if you save uh, fifteen dollars on the bag and, and two dollars on that, you know you're you're seventeen dollars savings just on this level right here. And we're not done because we're gonna go here to the pro plus level, ninth of the month club, and they give this uh, it costs one forty nine ninety nine. And what you get is a $295.76 value. Yeah, this is a knife uh, by Koodman. All right, and Koodman makes some pretty, pretty cool knives. And they, this is the MT5U. Uh, and uh, let's see, is it sharp out of the box? Yikers! Look at that. We're shaving right now, man. That is shave sharp, ready to go. Now, 
a lot of people ask. We just we just had some uh, emails about uh, survival knives, and and I tell you what, Rambo really jacked up a lot of people's thinking. You know, if if you're talking about going out and being a bushcrafter, uh, this is the perfect size knife right here. Great knife. You know, uh, I used to be a three knife, a three system knife carry. That's what I took out. A large knife, a medium knife, and a small knife. I did that for many years. Uh, and, you know, it just got to be a redundant thing for me. And I, I have since went to just two knives when I go. Uh, and my main knife, this would be my favorite size right here. And I carry in, well, I got a neck knife on me here today. This happens to be made by Healy here, but um, this is the perfect knife. I mean, uh, I wish we'd have done some more study on this knife before I sat down to do this video. Um, I know Kubin makes very, very good good knives. Um, and again, just let me reiterate, this is the size of knife that if you're going to be a, a bushman, if you're going to do bushcrafting, this is the size that you want. You don't need a great big knife. Matter of fact, there's there's things you can't do with a big knife. That's all there is to it. I know the old the old uh, saying, you know, uh, you can do everything with a big knife that you can do with a little knife, but you can't do everything with a little knife you can do with a, a big knife. That's bullshit. Uh, can I say that? Okay. All right. That's BS. How's that? Because uh, there's things you'll never do with a big knife that you can do with a little knife. And when you're talking about bushcrafting, that's it. Uh, the sheath, I mean, a lot of thought-out things have went off into this sheath. Um, oh, you know what this is? This can be, this, this is not only designed to go on your belt, if you want, you can carry it scout carry. That's what these are for. Carry it there in the small of your back. I've got a lot of friends that are bikers that, you know, carry all their knives uh, scout carry. Doesn't matter what size they are. I'm not that guy. Uh, a knife like this, I would scout carry because it's not so big. But I've got other knives that are just way too big for scout carry. And they pull my pants down. And they hurt my back and etc. etc. Uh, you got a nice lanyard on here to tie off on your leg if you do have it on your side. Um, so, Battle Box has done it again. Beautiful jimping up here. You're not going to slip on that. And uh, all the way up to the hilt. It doesn't have a finger troll per se, but you don't need one with this particular knife. You know, this one uh, is going to get some use here. Yeah. Nice pummel on it. Nice lanyard hole on here. My card of scales are, are really nice. Now, for me, I'm going to tell you, for me, these are too smooth. And the reason is I would process game with this. Sometimes, you know, animals that, I'm, that, that I've taken, I'm going to get blood on my hands. I'm going to get sinew. You know, I'm going to get slick. So what I will do is I will take a piece of sandpaper and I will rough these up a little bit uh, just to make sure I don't slip and cut my hand on this beautiful blade. Wow. So the value on it is $295.76 and you're spending $149.99. Okay. So that is a great value. And uh, if they've done their math right, they've got it at $295.76 and we have it at uh, 307 something there. You know, great. That is a great bargain for sure. You know, uh, so that is mission 44 bushcraft and i gotta tell you that is all useful stuff i'm falling in love with uh, battle box and uh we are uh studying them along with uh other uh subscription boxes and i gotta tell you so far battle box is is leading the pack it, it, that's just the name of that tune um and I think you should go out to BattleBox.com and, and check out their website because, uh, you know, they've got some good stuff there. So enough of that being said. Appreciate you watching our videos and reacting with us through the emails and asking us questions. And if you like the channel, then I want you to subscribe for us down there. And when you do, we're going to enter you into our monthly giveaway. We give away a lot of good gear. Hit the like button. Check us out on Facebook, Backwoods Biker. Go to our website, backwoodsbiker.com, because we've got a lot of videos. We've got a lot of articles. 
and uh, keep an eye out for our upcoming magazine that's soon to be launched, our special edition with a lot of gear uh, that is not only um, helpful for bikers that go out into the bush, but anybody, any hunter, any fisherman, any prepper, any survivalist, anybody that wants to be out in the outdoors. So until next time, you ride free, you live free.